Hey guys, this is a short little project I did with DIY Danielle from our local news station. Hope you enjoy it. You might remember a project a while back I did with Windmill Vintage Designs. We made that wood cubby and then Mod Podge the napkins onto it. So the owner, Melanie, has all sorts of tricks up her sleeve. And this week she showed me how to transform the look of an old chair without having to reupholster it. Here we are, Windmill Vintage Designs with Melanie. Thank you so much for letting me come back. Thanks for coming. And so we're going to paint the fabric on this chair. Yes. I'm excited about this. It's going to be super fun. Here's what you need. A spray bottle with just tap water, a plastic cup, a paint stirrer, a paint brush, a sanding block, and the key to success here is this special paint. It's called DIY Paint by Debbie's Design Diary, made right here in New Mexico. But the difference is that it's clay. It only has eight ingredients, so there's no latex or acrylics in it. So we're gonna pour it in. You can see how thick it is. And it does not have to be exact. One part paint to, say, two parts tap water. Stir it up really well with a paint stirrer. Then grab your spray bottle. You may want to consider picking up one of these. Melanie sells them at her shop. It's gonna give us a nice, clean mist instead of just getting water in one area. We're gonna wet our fabric. We're gonna work in sections. The reason that we're working in sections is we want our fabric to stay wet. After she sprays the fabric, she pushes the water into the fibers to make sure the whole section is drenched. Now you're gonna take your runny paint, it's like the consistency of cream, and let's paint that fabric. <gasps> So you can wow, see. Wow, instantly. Yeah, and by adding that water in there, we're allowing that paint to dye that fabric. Now this is a key step, guys. So you wanna take while a sanding block while it's still wet, and we're gonna work it in. This is what's really gonna allow our paint and this fabric to stay nice and soft. I love that instant payoff. Another key tip, choose a piece of furniture with a lighter fabric and paint it with a darker color. It doesn't need as many coats that way and it gives you a better result. This chair took two coats of the blue. We just painted the frame too, much easier than taping it off. Then after letting it dry for a few days, Melanie watered down some of the top coat by Debbie's Design Diary. It's called Liquid Patina. Same process, sanding it with the block after painting it on to keep the fabric soft. She says this seals it so it's safe to sit on. Dog and human approved. Isn't that nice. incredible? So you can find that special paint, the top coat, those continuous water misters I was telling Colton about at Windmill Vintage Designs shop. And they're located at the shopping center right near Manol and Carlisle. That's so cool. Yeah. Well, Colton and I are just waiting for you to come to our places and do a couple of projects. <laughs> you say that every Danielle. time, Yeah, can don't you reset my fireplace? Let us know when you're available. <laughs>